hello and welcome back as promised in the previous video today in this video we will continue customizing our wholesale e-commerce store so in the previous video we created this simple e-commerce store and in this video we will make it a product catalog where we will hide the prices the add to cart and we will customize the checkout and there are a couple of steps to do so without wasting your time let's get into it and the first thing is this video requires some custom codes but don't worry i'll provide a link in the description which will take you to this page here you can see e-commerce wholesale catalog mode you can scroll down and here you will find all the codes that i'll be using in this video okay and before these codes we will need to install a free plugin for it that is code snippets okay if you click here this is the plugin that we can use to add our custom codes and if you are using your child theme you can also use your function dot php file okay let me show you quickly and the dashboard if you go to appearance and theme file editor click i understand and here you can see we are using bloxy child theme okay you can go to function dot php and here you can paste those codes that I just showed you, okay? And if you don't want to use this file, you can use that free plugin. And to install this plugin, just go to plugins, add new, and here search for code. And you will see this plugin code snippet. Just install it and activate it. And then go to snippets and add new. And then you can give it any title. For example, I'll write something like this, okay? And then you can see the same function PHP file. We can write our own functions here. So you can use both options like the theme editor or this plugin. And there are also some options available in this Bloxy theme where we can hide the prices and you can do some modification to the products. Okay, let me show you them quickly, but we'll do mostly with the codes. Okay, for that we will go to customize. And here you can scroll down and you will see your commerce. So scroll down to archive. And if you want to make changes to a product archives like this thing or the whole shop page, you can go to product archives and here you can see the number of columns and the number of rows. And you can also make changes to these things. If you want to hide the sidebar and pagination, let me visit the shop page to show you clearly. This is our product page. Okay, you can see number of columns are three that you see here. And uh, if you want to hide the sidebar, you can just disable it. This will hide this sidebar. This is the pagination which you will see here if you have multiple products and then this is the card option for a single product like this okay you can see we have product image this one title then price star rating category exit and add to cart so if you want to hide it to cart here you can just click this and this will hide it to cart okay same goes for the price if you click here you can see we hide the price and you can also make additional settings like if i open it I can change the heading and I can change the spacing and so on. Same goes for the design if you want to change the colors. So this is the title color, this is the category and so on. So in this way you can make changes to the product catalog and if I open up any of these products, I can make changes to the single product page by going back again and going to single product. Again I can change the layout here, full width, left sidebar, right sidebar and so on. And again if I open up product elements. I can hide the title, price or add to cart and so on. So in this way you can make changes by using the Bloxy theme. But again there are some limitations to it. Because we can't replace the add to cart text here. And as we need a to inquiry here. So let's see how we can do it by using some custom code. Okay. I'll just close this page and we'll not save anything. Here you can see we have add to cart prices and so on. Now let's go step by step. So I'll visit that link that I just showed you. Here in the first step you can see hide WooCommerce prices. So to hide WooCommerce prices, just scroll down and copy this code. Then go to your snippet that I showed you, okay? This is the snippet. Paste it here. Scroll down and choose this one. Only run on front end. Then save changes. And now let's check it. If I refresh, prices are gone. Also on the single page, we have no prices, okay? So this is how a code works. And let's go to the next step. Here we will rename add to cart. So we will copy this code. And now you can add a new snippet here or you can use this same one. Okay. I'll just use this one. I will paste that code. And now you can see we are renaming add to cart by add to inquiry. If you want to write your own text, you can do it here. So now let's save it. And let's check it. You can see add to inquiry. Also on the products page you will see add to inquiry. Okay. So this is how it works. Now as I showed you the flow in the previous video, if I add this to inquiry, this will show view card and then this will take us to the cart page but we don't want to use the cart page we want to redirect customer to the checkout page okay directly so to do it use the next code which is this one skip woocommerce cart page just copy it and then paste it here and save changes go back let's remove this product and now if i add a product to inquiry 
then view cart by the way we can also replace this text we will write checkout here this will take me to checkout page instead of cart page okay and that's what we need and if you scroll down here you will see some shipping options if you have enabled any shipping and you will also see these payments options so let's see how we can remove unwanted text from this section okay for that we will go to commerce settings so under dashboard you can go to commerce settings and here you can go to shipping and you will see are your shipping zones here okay make sure to disable them i don't have anyone here and then you can go to shipping settings choose this option for shipping to a customer billing address okay and then save changes and also go to payments and make sure to disable all these payment methods because we are not processing any payments on this website okay but if you enable this still you will see a message let me show you you can see this payment message there is no payment available okay so to completely hide this you can use the next code which is this one disable all e-commerce payments just copy it and paste it in the snippet then save changes will refresh and you won't see that message again and now as i said we will also be hiding some of these fields because we don't want all of these for example we don't need the town city we don't need the state zip code or something we can hide those fields okay and for that we will use the next code which is this one remove unnecessary e-commerce checkout fields so i'll just copy it then i'll paste it and let me explain it okay so if you want to hide any field you can unset it just like this one okay we have unset billing address and billing address 2 billing city and billing first code and so on if you want to hide the billing company you can just remove this comment and make it like this okay so let's save this and let's check it so you can see we have first name last name country phone and email only so in this way you can hide different fields from the checkout here and as i said we will also replace this text okay so for that you can use the same method that i used for the add to cart let me show you this is the code we use for add to cart okay so i'll just copy it again we'll hit enter and we'll paste it again and this time i'll choose place order and we'll replace it by a request or quote now you can write any text save changes and that's it and as we have skipped the cart page so we want our customer to be able to remove products from the cart okay directly from here so for that we will need to add a remove icon here and for that you can use the next code add remove item to commerce checkout you can just copy this code and then paste it here save changes and refresh now you can see this remove icon okay if i click this this may give us an error because we have hide the cart page okay and it's taking very long as well so to fix this you can see the error so now to fix this we will take the empty card page to the product page ok and for that we will use the next code you redirect empty e-commerce card i'll just copy it and let's paste it and save changes now this will refresh and will take me to the product page ok just like this so this is how you can fix the empty card page as well and let's continue customizing this section because we want to hide all these prices and also the total and subtotal row so for that we can use simple css which is also given to you on that page let's go there pull down this is the custom css okay i'll just copy it and for the css we can use our customization page so i'll go to customize and here we can scroll down go to additional css i'll click here and we'll paste that code and you can see the impact here so in this way you can customize the website flow and also you can customize the checkout. One last thing is if a customer place an order here, they will get some emails about the products and the emails will also show them the prices that the order is on hold and the order is completed and so on. So we can just disable those emails as we are conducting the customers manually. So let's see how we can disable those emails now. So I'll go to dashboard and under commerce settings I'll go to emails. And there are some emails that we want to disable like order on hold, processing order and completed order, okay? To disable any of them, just go to manage, then uncheck this option and save changes. And then go back, processing order, manage and disable, save changes. And the last one is completed order, we'll uncheck it, save changes. And lastly, let's check out the system and let's see how it works. So I'll go to this website, I'll go to products and uh, let's add it to inquiry and add this one also we'll view cart now you can see we have these products and cart and we can write our own details and then we can request a quote okay so let me fill up this form and this is optional if you want you can hide this field as well then let's request a quote and you can see thank you your order has been received this is the order number the date and the total is hidden 
this is our email and these are the other details and billing address okay and now Erwin can contact this email and they can discuss the pricing the shipment and so on and let me show you this on the dashboard as well if I go to orders here you can see that order which is processing you can view this and you can see the email you can just contact this email as an admin okay and you can also make this completed so this is how this website will work and this is how you can create a wholesale e-commerce store using Wallface and Elementor absolutely for free again you can customize this website based on your needs you can change the colors the typography the sections the products and so on and if you want to learn more about Wallface Elementor and WooCommerce just visit my channel I have lots of videos about them I have showed you many tips and tricks and I have showed you multiple Elementor add-ons that you can use for free so make sure to subscribe the channel and stay tuned for the next videos Still, if you have any questions about this video, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.